Father, we come looking into thy hand, asking thee to take full control of this service today. We pray, Lord, that many might turn to thee and accept thee as their personal and indwelling Savior. Thou art the mighty God, thou art the everlasting Father, thou art the Prince of Peace. There is no God before thee, and there will be no other bef beside thee. Thou art whom we worship, thou art whom we adore, thou art whom we magnify, thou art whom we lift up, the one true God, which name is Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. And so today, Lord, I pray that this broadcast might mean much to many. I pray that every ears that hear, every eyes that see, will be infused and will bow to thee, O oh God, we pray. Dear Father, we pray that thou will take every soul under this building. I pray that every soul will be blessed. Yes. Hallelujah. And we, when we leave this place, we may be like giants refreshed in the spirit. Hear us, O oh God. What we don't know, we pray that thou will reveal it unto us. We pray for thy revelation. Oh God. Sometimes it's too much for the natural man. But if we humble ourselves, Father, you will reveal yourself to us. Thank you for all the blessings. Thank you for this building which you have given unto us. We pray, Lord God, that it might use us only for the saving of souls <coughs> so that they may be be with thee when thou shall return. Hear us, we pray. These blessings we ask in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord, God, and Savior. Amen. For those who join us, you're listening to and watching the Worldwide Truth of God radio and television program. It's a pre-recorded program coming to you from the International and General Assembly of the First Church of Our Lord Jesus Christ of the Apostles' Faith. We're located at 2431 Frankfurt Avenue, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, right here in the United States of America, where Pastor Gino Jennings, our leader, teacher, guide, and general overseer. Now you can write or email us for any of the following, a current list of all our radio and television stations, a list of our church locations both within and outside the United States, a list of biblical literature written by Pastor Jennings, and the church's magazine, The Truth of God Journal, that's The Truth of God Journal, the third edition, which is now available for five U.S. dollars. A cassette recording of this, the Worldwide Truth of God radio and television program, can also be obtained at the cost of five U.S. dollars. <coughs> However, when writing and requesting copies of this broadcast, we do always ask, that you indicate the program number clearly, clearly within your correspondence. Now today's or tonight's program number is 543. Once again, a cassette recorder of this, the Worldwide Truth of God radio and television program, can also be obtained at the cost of five US dollars. For those wishing a copy of this broadcast, we'd always ask that you indicate the program number clearly within your letter. Now today's or tonight's program number is 543. Once again, that number is 543. Now, if you desire to have the gospel preached in your area, in person by Pastor Jennings, or have questions regarding this program, or simply regarding the scriptures, again, you may address all your correspondence to Pastor Gino Jennings, First Church of Our Lord Jesus Christ of the Apostles' Faith. Again, if you're listening or watching for the first time, our address, 2431, 2431 Frankfurt Avenue, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, right here in the United States of America. Postal zip code is 19125. 
We'd also like you to visit us on the internet. Our internet address is www.truthofgod.com. If you can, visit us on the internet. Our internet address is www.truthofgod.com. If you can, also send us an email. Our email address is truthofgod at errols.com. Once again, send us an email, if you can, at truthofgod at errols.com. We'd also like to remind you of an upcoming visit to Mobile, Alabama by Pastor Jennings. He will be preaching in Mobile, Alabama, Saturday, December the 23rd, and Sunday, December the 24th, the year 2000. The location will be at the Holiday Inn. The address of the Holiday Inn is 850-850 South Beltline Highway in Mobile, Alabama. Now, the Saturday service of December the 23rd, that will be at 7 p.m. The Sunday service of December the 24th, that will be at 11.30 a.m. Then there will be an evening service back at the local assembly located at 1911 Halls Mill Road, and that's in Mobile, Alabama. That service to begin at 6 p.m. Once again, Pastor Jones will be preaching and teaching in Mobile, Alabama. The date's Saturday, December the 23rd, and Sunday, December the 24th. The location, the Holiday Inn, the Holiday Inn located at 850 South Beltline Highway, and that's in Mobile, Alabama. The Saturday service will be at 7 p.m. That's the Saturday service of December the 23rd. That will be at 7 p.m. The Sunday service will be at 11.30 a.m. The Sunday service of December the 24th. That will be at 11.30 a.m. And there will be an evening service back at the local church located at 1911 Halls Mill Road in Mobile, Alabama. And obviously all our listeners and viewers in that area are quite invited to be with Pastor Jennings and the Saints during those times of worship. Quickly to our Spanish-speaking listeners, we'd just like to remind them that we do have literature available. Le invitamos a que nos escriba y solicite los siguientes folletos bíblicos gratis titulados a nos sido usted de nuevo, mujeres predicadoras, y Jesucristo es Dios todo poderoso. And quickly to our French-speaking listeners, we'd also like to remind them that we do have literature available uh, for them. No vous invitons a nos éclair pour recevoir une documentation gratuite en français ou en anglais et titulé Êtes-vous homme, femme predicatrice? Now today, today you're about to witness a special discussion. It's a discussion between Pastor Jennings and the Nation of Islam. Um, now today's or tonight's program obviously is going to be a special program and it's being aired during our first combined national men's and women's convocation that was recorded on the afternoon of November the 26th, the year 2000. The discussion will be primarily surrounded the existence of God, the source of God. And it's going to be discussed between Pastor Jennings of the First Church of Our Lord Jesus Christ and I do believe Brother Thomas Smallwood of the Nation of Islam. We do ask all our listeners and viewers to sit attentively as we proceed with this program. At this time, we're going to present unto you the servant of God and general overseer, our leader, teacher, and guide, Pastor Gino Jennings. Greetings, brothers and sisters, <clears throat> friends, and enemies. We thank the one God for his divine wisdom and his eternal understanding of all things. We thank him much for the prophets and the apostles. We can never thank him enough for the greatest religion that he had revealed to them when he had commanded them to be ye holy. Moreover, we are grateful for you that are here and you that are listening and watching this discussion between myself and the nation of Islam. I'm thankful to have Brother Smallwood Muhammad with us. Thank you, Brother. I'm also thankful to have from the Sunni Muslim community Brother Talim. <laughs> as well as all those that accompany him to be in this meeting. God is one. I know there are numerous of religions that try to pluralize God, but God is one. 
God is the basis and the foundation of religion. And all religions that say they represent God for religion to be correct, God in that religion must be correct. Before uh, we turn the stand over to Brother Smallwood Muhammad and let him have some opening remarks, we go on out of respect to the Sunni Muslim community. We're going to let Brother Talim, who will represent them, have some brief opening remarks to you that are here and to our television audience and to our radio listeners that are here this around the world. Then afterward, we will introduce to you Brother Thomas Smallwood Muhammad that he may speak whether he wants to say 10 minutes or 15 minutes and then afterward him and I will occupy up here at the same time. The subject that we are dealing with is God. That is the greatest subject of all subjects. We that believe in God's holy way, we believe that God always was. We believe that God is self-existing. We believe that God never was created from anything. We believe that God is eternal. We don't believe God is a man. We don't believe God is flesh and blood. We believe God is divine. And it was that divine source that worked in all of his prophets and all of the apostles. So the discussion between myself and the nation of Islam is God the creator or was God created? Is God the creator or was God created or was God self-made? That is the discussion between us and the nation of Islam. So we want you to listen attentively as we go and sit down and respectfully have some brief remarks from Brother Talim from the Sunni Muslim community. Brother Talim. In the name of God, most gracious, most merciful, Praise be to God, Lord, cherish and sustainer of all the world, most gracious and most merciful. Master of the day of judgment, thee do we worship and thine aid we seek. Show us the straight way, the way of those on whom thou hast bestowed thy grace, those whose portion is not wrath and whom go not astray. I mean, respected elders, Brother Jennings, and brothers and sisters, we, the brothers who attended this gathering today, we are highly impressed. And I'd like to share something with you that from the front door, when we came in the front door, it was greetings, 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 greetings. I said to my brother, I said, Alhamdulillah which means all praises be to God. We give praises to God for the greetings because we like to share with you the greeting and tell you a little story about what God commanded Adam, the first man, to do. It says in our Holy Quran, <laughs> when you are greeted with a greeting, greet it with, in return with what is better than it. At least return it equally. Certainly, Allah, God, 
is ever careful, he's an account taker, and he sees all things. Adam was commanded by God, this is a commandment, to give peace be upon you. And he referred that to the angels by God's command. The response to Adam was, may the peace and blessings of God be upon you too. And I'd like to share that with you brothers and sisters because when you give peace to someone, it is a command from God. And I'm quite sure Pastor Jennings has shared that with you, but we acknowledge it that you give us peace be upon you and we wish the peace and blessings of, a God, of God be upon you, Allah be upon you. We also like to share something with you. This will be very brief. When you say peace, it's a little story a brother gave me and he's, he's in the Philadelphia nursing home and he's, he's a good brother. He can't talk, he can't walk, he can't move his limbs, but he actually communicates through a liberator. A liberator is a machine where as though it's connected to his chin and he actually has an alphabet in front of him and he actually types in this liberator all the things that he wants to say. But this is what he stated to me about peace. He said, loving your brother is a strange thing these days and times. Until, until mutual concern goes beyond just greeting one another in passing. You know, I saw you, so I greeted you. That's not it. Greeting in passing, loving for the sake of God, is good sense. Nothing more, if you do it for no more reason, than to realize it's for the paradise that you will get for bringing peace to your brother. And when he shared that to me, it brought tears to my eyes. And I just wanted to share that today with you and in hopes that you can remember that your peace is a very, is a very significant uh, word to give anyone and everyone. And if the world was filled with people such as yourselves sharing peace, we would have a good head start on this here deviant that we're working with. So I'd like to make this very short, and I would say that uh, in the Holy Quran, it says, in the name of God, most gracious, most merciful, this is God revealing to Muhammad, who is the last and the seal of all prophets. He says, say, Muhammad, he, God, is one. God is sufficient, the master whom all creatures need. He neither eats or drinks. He begets not, was he, nor is he begotten. And there is none equal or comparable unto him. Brothers and sisters, our message today is just to share with you that we don't associate anything with God. It is, a, it is a very wrong mistake. And we live by the Holy Quran. We believe in Jesus and we believe in all the prophets that God has sent before us. If we all were to follow the way in which Jesus, Muhammad, and all the prophets have gave us the revelation that God has sent, we will be all right. We have listened to uh, Pastor Gino, uh, Gino Jennings a uh, numerous of times yeah. preaching about uh, the things that are going on in our society, in the world today. And you can't help but say, well, wait a minute, hold it. How he know all that? Hmm. You know, and we recognize him because he's talking about some things that we, we are struggling with today, brothers and sisters. You see, and that struggle is that we got an enemy. And that enemy that we have is the Satan, in which we call the devil. He is there. But for each and every one of you who, gave, who came here today, uh, we'd like to just share something with you in reference to how you got here. You see, you got here because God sent you here. He brought you here. He brought us here. You're sitting there with his permission. I'm standing here with his permission. Mm -hmm. And we have to acknowledge that at all times. 
The devil, the Satan, the deviant one is who you have to watch out for because he will take the truth and twist it and turn it around and make you all partners with him. Because we all know misery loves company and he is miserable. So with that, I'd like to make this short and uh, proceed with the program. And as you said to me, I would like to say back to you, I salam alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. We do thank Brother Talim for those wonderful remarks. Now, we're going to turn the microphone over to Brother Smallwood Muhammad that he may state his stance on this issue and the existence of God, whether God is created or whether God has always existed. And after he make his statement known to you that are here and you that are listening and watching, him and I will get a chance to get into dialogue one with the other, with the scriptures as our foundation. Brothers and sisters, Brother Smallwood Muhammad. Thank you. Peace be unto you. I just want to start off by um, addressing a little statement that I had, um, you know, written up the other night. So if you can, please be patient with me. This is my first time ever behind a mic, <laughs> behind an altar. In the, name, in the name of Allah, the beneficent, the merciful, we thank Allah for his coming and the person, the master, Farad Muhammad, to whom praise is due forever. We thank Allah for his prophets, his servants, and the scriptures that they brought. And we thank Allah for Moses and the Torah and for Jesus and the gospel and for Muhammad, the Holy Quran. Peace be upon all of these worthy servants of Allah. If I live to be a thousand, I don't think that I could ever thank Allah enough for his divine intervention in our affairs as a people, as a black people, for his raising up one from among us in this critical hour, in this day and time, to lead us, to teach us, and to guide us to the path of Islam, I speak of none other than the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, the last and greatest messenger of Almighty God, Allah. About a month ago, Brother Jennings challenged me to prove in the Bible that God created himself from darkness. Now the answer to that question is a very simple answer because he said that I must prove in the Bible and the proof is nowhere in the scriptures to be found where God ever said that he had created himself from darkness. So I just can't simply prove something that's just simply not there. It would be just like asking, it would be like me asking you to prove to me in the scriptures that Jesus <laughs> Ain't poor. I know you go in that scripture, you will search from the beginning of Genesis to, to the end of Revelation, and you won't find it. Because he just simply didn't do it. The subject of the origin of God, that's a very difficult subject to explain, very difficult. 
So I had chose really not to really discuss that subject for the Honorable Elijah Muhammad oft times did not care to go into that subject either. But we can go into other subjects, but if Brother Jennings want to go there, I'll try my best, and I'm going to put my, best fo my foot forward this afternoon to do the best that I can. The best that I can. Okay? Now I can prove other things in the scripture as far as interracial marriages, okay, according to the scripture, how God is against that. I can go into the scriptures and prove who the true Jehovah Witnesses are. With no, you know, disrespect to brother, but like he said on other tapes, on other occasions, there's just some scriptures he's just going to have to come up to. <laughs> I mean, they're his words. <laughs> praise be to Allah. All praise be to Allah. <laughs> now, I want to say this, right? I'm not for mosque number 12. I never once when any of my letters stated that I was from Mosque number 12. Nor am I affiliated with any Mosque at this present time, brothers and sisters. I'm an insignificant little brother who loves the Honorable Elijah Mohammed. However, I do believe in God, just as you believe in God. I believe in God. And I'm not here today to try to, you know, take you off your course with that. That's not why I'm here. I'm here so that maybe we could bring some closure on some things that we disagree on. And maybe it can bring us even closer together. Because for a long time, brothers and sisters, all praise is due to Allah, to the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. Christians and Muslims have failed to even try to walk together because of their religious differences, differences when it comes to the prophets. Okay, you believe in Jesus. Oh, that, that's fine. As Muslims, we also believe in Jesus. This book right here that I have, which is called the Holy Quran, okay, it tells us that we are to believe in Jesus. We are to believe, in fact, in all of the prophets of Allah. The Quran says to us as Muslims, it says, وَلَا It says and that we are not to make a distinction between any of the prophets, whether it was from Adam to Muhammad, because all of these divine prophets that Allah has sent to us, okay, they never argued and bickered over who they thought was right as opposed to who they believed was wrong. Right. It wasn't the case with that. The case today is that we just have to try to, you know, come together so that we can become brothers and sisters to one another. Right. So I hope and pray, brothers and sisters, by the end of this telecast today, that maybe we can walk, that we won't look at each other as being some foreign outcast that just because I'm a Muslim you look at me different or because you're a Christian I have to treat you different. No sir, I'm not going to do that. Mr. Farrakhan, a brother who I, I greatly admire, Brother Silas Muhammad, another brother who is working very diligently right here in this country in America, is, you know what I'm saying? You know, brother, so we have to learn how to put our little petty differences aside. So we get into this thing where I'm Muslim, you Christian. It's almost like we're into gangs. You understand what I'm saying? It's like, you know, okay, I'm from this corner, and you're from over there, and I dare you to tread upon my territory. This is the house of God. I feel very comfortable, you know, being up here today. And I want to thank all praises due to Allah. Yes, sir. I said, I can feel the spirit already. <laughs> Listen, brother, I want to thank Pastor Gino 
for just even allowing me to stand up here and do something like this. Huh? Because there's no other Christian that I know of in this city or elsewhere that will allow this event to take place, this type of formal setting, where you can come and ask them anything that you want on scripture. That's beautiful. Now, <laughs> now that I said all that, <laughs> I want to try to, you know, be as succinct as I possibly can. I want y'all to relax. I want y'all to enjoy yourselves as I try to relax and enjoy myself. And I hope today, after I'm finished, that me and this brother can walk out and we, and we can all become one family, because we are one family. God didn't create us like this man to be divided and split it up and argue and fight like fools and children. Children got more sense than we do when it comes to this head because they can get into fights and go right back to being friends tomorrow. You and I still be mad with each other. <laughs> so if, um, if you don't mind, I'd like to bring brother back up and let's see what type of dialogue that we can get into and hope that it can be a very peaceful, because I come in peace, brother. I represent peace. The very religion, the name of Islam itself, brother, it means peace and submission to the will of God. It is the religion of the prophets. The book of Thessalonians, the, book, the Bible in itself, when Paul speaks about the religion of peace, he was speaking about Islam. For Islam means exactly that. Jesus in Luke chapter 24, verse 36, when he stood in the midst of his disciples, the first words that came out of his mouth was peace. Peace be unto you. In other words, assalamu alaikum. Okay? John chapter 20, verse 19 through 20, he uses that same expression again. You know, and most Christians, you all the first ones I ever hear use that term. Because most people use the expression hello. And we know hell is low. And if you say that you follow him, and you are supposed to be Christ's light, Come on, okay, then why is it that you don't greet one another? Or why is it that they, they don't greet one another with the expression of peace? That's right. They're using the devil's advocate, his terminology, keeping him in existence when we're trying to knock out his brains. That's why we're here today. So I want to bring Brother Gino Jennings back up to the forum, and let's see, brother, what we can do. Again, brothers and sisters, we greet all of you. My Muslim brothers and sisters, assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. We thank the Almighty God for blessing us to be present. <clears throat> that you that are here and you that are listening and watching uh, may have a clear understanding of what we're talking about. Uh, we enjoyed the remarks from Brother Smallwood Muhammad. Even though he said this cannot be proven, but it is something that the nation of Islam believe. And if God is going to be the foundation of our religion, every divine messenger that have ever been sent of God must represent God in spirit and in truth. Is that right? Amen. Every divine message. Whatever message the messenger has, whenever you talk about God, you're not talking about someone from a local neighborhood. We're not talking about a politician or a renowned president. We're talking about master of all creation, teacher and sender of all holy prophets. And in God, there is no flaws, no errors. He is perfection within itself. Amen. Now, in the teaching of the nation, I also want to apologize to the brother from saying he was from mosque number 12. 
He's not, and forgive us for yes, misrepresenting. Yes, sir, you're forgiven, brother. Um, the teaching that God created himself from darkness, we want to simply know, even though it's not in the scriptures, but it was taught. So the teaching is either correct or incorrect, and the believers that was on the receiving end of that teaching, plainly putting it, either believe truth or an existing lie told about God. This is what we're dealing with. Because God is perfect. And man is supposed to reflect God in that perfection. Amen. So either God was created, created himself by darkness, my brother, either that statement is true, or either it's a lie. We're not talking about me, we're not talking about you, we're not talking about no one here. We're talking about God. Right. And when we supposed to be servants of God, that service must be rendered the way God desired for it to be rendered. Amen. So I say to you, is that statement true or is it a lie? Well, Brother Genius, to answer your question, the Quran tells me that we are to believe in Allah. Yes, sir. And to believe in his messenger. Yes. We are to obey them. So if the Quran is telling me, giving me a, a, an instruction, I'm going to carry that instruction out. And I know, Brother Gino, as well as you do, that even with all of the prophets, when they brought a message, the people didn't understand fully because look how complicated Jesus' message was for a lot of people to understand. And even today, they don't understand. This is why you're here. This is why I'm here, to try to bring or shed some light on that, on that understanding. But it's a lot of time when you called me the other night and we got into some dialogue about, you know, how, you know, the prophets must be in 100 agreement with each other or something like that. And I was trying to illustrate to you how during the time of Jesus, when he was speaking on the subject of adultery, and they had asked him, you know, um, when Jesus said that, um, you know, you have heard it said that thou shalt not commit adultery. Mm -hmm. And then he rendered his interpretation of that, taking the law of Moses in account. But yet his interpretation of that thing could not be verified at that particular moment in history because as I stated, there was no New Testament. There was no New Testament. It was only the Old Testament. So a lot of times, all time with the prophets, they don't necessarily always have to be in agreement with each other. Well, brother, let me say this. We're not talking about adultery. We're no, I was not, just using that yes, as an example. I agree. <laughs> but we're not talking about adultery or pork or chicken or chitlins. We're talking about God. Amen. And I'm telling you, God is, must be the foundation of religion. And if any messenger say a revelation came to me about God, Amen. then the messenger must get his message according to scripture. Yeah. Now the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, which uh, I have never heard him teach this. I have studied the teaching of Elijah Muhammad through tapes, watching his, the Savings Day messages from the 50s and 60s. Never heard I him say God created himself from darkness. But I hear that teaching moreover from Minister Louis Farrakhan. So that means if Minister Farrakhan and the brothers of Islam are true believers, true believers must believe in the Quran. And what Allah say about himself in that Quran. Right. Allah is represented by Muhammad in the Quran. Right. And either the teachings of Allah through Muhammad is correct, or either the teachings of Allah 
through Muhammad is incorrect because what Muhammad says here and what Elijah Muhammad says later is different. One of these Muhammads is wrong. That's the basic. And for anything to get accomplished, we're going to have to have a hardcore, direct right. dialogue. That's right, sir. Well, we don't agree. Amen. One of these Muhammads is wrong. Amen. If God is not the author of confusion, then man is the blame. Amen. Amen. Let us listen at the Bible first, and then we'll read something out of the Quran. Amen. Is everybody all right? Amen. Listen at the scriptures. In Psalms 90. Let's see who created this darkness. In Isaiah chapter 45. And begin reading at verse 6. Yes. That they may know from the rising of the sun and from the west that there is none beside me. God talking. Amen. Mm -hmm. I am the Lord and there is none else. Yes. I form the light. I, God says, I form the light. And create darkness. And God says, and create darkness. I make peace. I make peace. And create evil. And create evil. I, the Lord, do all these things. Amen. Now God has given testimony about himself. In the Quran, Surah chapter 1, and begin at verse 1, say, He is Allah, the one and only. Verse 2, Allah, the eternal, absolute. Verse 3, he begetteth not, nor is he begotten. Verse 4, there is none like unto him. Amen. Now, this is a contradiction of the teachings of Minister Farrakhan. Because when you say eternal, what is eternal? Well, I would like for you to be able to address that one because you really can't put a time on it because we know that from everything that came into existence had to have some sort of beginning. Well, But I'm, when does it begin, we don't know. Can a thing be eternal and have a beginning? Well, it depends on your understanding of it, because I know it talks about from everlasting to everlasting, but what exactly does that mean? Like I said, so we're not really, I'm not really that versed, because I'm not in the, in the nation on that subject. Well, everlasting and eternal is the same thing. Yeah. But the teachings of Islam, the nation of Islam, that God created himself from darkness is a violation of the Quran. Because that's saying God did not always exist. Right. And if that is so, how can Allah bear the title Almighty and need help from an element to become God? Yeah. That will be blaspheme against the religion of Islam. Yeah. That will be blaspheme. So, if God created himself from darkness, would that not contradict what God just said he made darkness? Well, can I ask you a question then on that subject? Yes. Matter? Well, then what was there before there was darkness? If God created darkness, then what state was he in before he created the darkness? He was just God. <laughs> just God. to be? What state do God have to be in? Amen. Remember, God 
is God. The title Almighty Allah mm -hmm. will not be sufficient for him to wear if he needs help right. to come into being. God doesn't need no help. Right. God is the self-existing one, always was, no beginning, no ending. Yeah. We need the help, not him. Yeah. So again, I'm asking, is that teaching that God created himself from darkness, is that not direct contradiction to what the scriptures just said? And what the Quran just said, Allah, the eternal, the absolute. <coughs> absolute. Now, go ahead, bro. Now, according to the Bible, in the third chapter of Habakkuk, Yes. It speaks about how God came from t -Man. Yes. Now, Brother Dawood is a little bit better on the subject than I am. Yeah. Like I said, I'm not really familiar or, you know, If well another brother birth. would like to come up and age you, he can. Yeah. I invite any brother. brother from the nation of Islam who desire to come up here and talk about the greatest of the greatest. Amen. one thing clear. We're not here trying to belittle our brothers. No. We're not here trying to show them up. No. We are here that God may be represented and get down to truth. What is your name, brother? Dao. Brother Dao, pleasure to meet you again, brother. You can come close to the microphone and Say exactly what you desire to say. Okay, uh, I'd like to say, um, Asalaamu As Alaikum. As 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 uh, hello to the ones who are not Muslim and not familiar with those terms. I am a friend of Brother Tom Smallwood. I'm just here for support. Uh, I'm not really uh, authorized to speak on the subject about anything has anything to do with the nation of Islam. Although I do read the teaching and all the Umbu Elijah Muhammad's books, peace be upon him. What I know about God being man is that in Habakkuk that I have read, 3-3, three, three, speaks about where, and if anyone have any doubt in mind of guessing what Thank God you. can be or where he is or where he could be. Uh, you want the brother to read it for you? Sure. Habakkuk, All right. three, three. Habakkuk chapter 3. In Habakkuk chapter 3 and verse 3, mm -hmm. God came from Timon mm -hmm. and the Holy One from Mount Paran, Selah. All right. Okay. Now right there is saying that where God came from. Now, if I wanted to know where God came from, then I had no business speaking about or trying to guess where he came from if the book is saying exactly where he came from. I'm just trying to use a little bit of common sense here, that's all. So help me understand. Um, so even though this says God came from Teman, you're saying it is that scripture that means God had a beginning. Is that what you're saying? Well, Brother Zeno. Because, uh, my brother, if you're saying that scripture means God had a beginning, then if God came from darkness, was teeming in darkness? Mm. If that's what that means. Well, well you it, know, all, it all depends how you look at that. Well, you know, and I know, Teman was not born to later. 
the earth was already here. Creation was already here. Yeah. What that scripture is saying to me, my understanding is that yes. God is just simply man. A man. A man. A human being. A son of another man. And if God can be anything else and everything else, if he's God, can he be man too? So <clears throat> you're saying Allah is a man. That's what I'm saying. He came from Teman. Teman uh, is uh, a son of another man. To be a son, you must be begotten. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. Correct? Correct. All right. Let's examine back at the Quran, the Surah, chapter 1, Surah 1. <laughs> Verse 1 again, say, He is Allah, the one and only, Allah, the eternal, absolute. He begetteth not, nor is he begotten. <laughs> if the Quran is the basis of the nation of Islam, then they must change their teaching right. to be in agreement with the Prophet Muhammad, or you must say Allah lied. Okay, well, because Allah said He's not begotten. Begotten of what? What do you mean? He's not conceived. Was Allah ever born? And if He was born, who's His mother? Mm. I know you're not a Catholic because you know ain't a woman in heaven. <laughs> can, a, can a man be everlasting? Can a man, a human being, be eternal? And can a man be absolute? Absolute being perfect. You know and I know there's imperfection in us, but not in God. Yeah. Well, talk to God, me. God to me. Here's the truth. Which God are you speaking of? I'm speaking about the one God who is truth. Truth to me. Truth is God. Truth. Yes, sir. All right. Truth is something that resides inside of human beings. All right. The spoken truth, the word of truth, the yes. mouth is truth. truth. Mm -hmm. um, God is <clears throat> it's just simply to me who, if I'm not the uh, mistaken in the scripture about uh, he manifests himself in the flesh. All right. Now, there's a lot of things in the scripture that's questionable. Okay. There are some things in there the, in the book that uh, need to be explained to. Let me, let, me, let me help you out a little bit. The scripture you quoted, God was manifested in the flesh. Does that mean God was flesh? No. Um, it means that God manifests the truth, but in the flesh. Are you saying? And go ahead, brother. Go ahead. Are you saying that means God became flesh, or God was flesh? Well, I'm saying that the truth that was in man, yes, which was the flesh that was used to become, to perfect God. It represent the will of God. Represent the will. And it wasn't God, the flesh. Well, at that time, I guess you will say it was God because God manifests itself in that flesh. Okay. If you read in uh, Matthew 24, 27, it speaks about yes. a, a man coming. I mean, the scriptures, it's always talking about man, man, man. Exactly. Man, 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 man. We keep looking for something else besides man. Well, let me say this. Is God in you? God is in me. Allah is in you. Yes, sir. To, when a thing is manifest, is it not seen? Yes, sir. You're in your suit. Yes, sir. You're manifest in your suit. Are you the suit? No, sir. Exactly. So what that means? Because God manifests himself in flesh. Muhammad, a student of Master Farad Muhammad. Mm -hmm. Now we got two.
two statements made by two messengers. Mm. And is it is an absolute contradiction of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad to Prophet Muhammad in Surah 6, if you don't mind me reading. Verse 1, praise be to Allah who created the heavens and the earth and made the darkness. Praise be to God who created the heavens and the earth and made the darkness and the light. Yet those who reject faith hold others as equal with their guardian Lord. Allah says here, he made darkness. Yeah. Elijah Muhammad said God created himself from darkness. So according to the Quran, God was here first and then darkness came after. According to Minister Farrakhan, darkness was here first and God came after. Who should we believe? Amen. Now your loyalty have to be greater towards Allah than anyone else. Is that right? Amen. Amen. Our loyalty is to God himself. Amen. If our acknowledgement of truth will take our life, truth is worth dying for. Amen. So tell us, brother, do you believe the Quran or do you believe the message of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad on this subject? I believe the teacher of the Almighty Elijah Muhammad, Muhammad 100 percent. That's right. I also uh, tell you the truth. I'm not really interested in how God created Himself. That first God. We don't have that knowledge. Uh, what I am interested in is I would like to talk about God coming to find a people or sheep that was lost. Well, let me say this. You don't need for us to look for no people yet. No. Not yet. My God, we got to get God right first. What good is talking about a people if we don't know the creator of this people? Amen. When God sent the prophets, they had a complete divine message for the upbuilding of a people. Right. We're talking about the greatest of the greatest. That's right. Yes, sir. You want to come up, brother? Yes. Yes, sir. Make yourself yeah. welcome. Yes, sir. The off. Assalam I'm going to give your name, brother. Uh, brother Najee Muhammad. Brother Najee Muhammad, make yourself welcome. Uh, peace be upon everyone. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. In the name of Allah, most gracious, most merciful. Let me give you a hand here, brother. Put it on this side for the brother. I want everyone to be able to hear what my brother's saying. All right, brother. In the name of Allah, the most gracious, most merciful, I bear witness that there's no God to be worshipped but Allah, who created the heavens and the earth. I thank him for all the prophets and the messengers that he had brought to us. And I thank Brother Pastor Gino for allowing us to come and to talk on something that had not been known for since life even begun and that is the mystery of God and that is who is God the Honorable Elijah Muhammad these questions was addressed to him and he did not address certain questions that when it came down to God creating himself when you look for a minute and think hard before everything that was here, before man was here, before the earth was here, 
before even the universe was here, even before darkness was here, God, Allah, was here. Now, I want you to think for a minute, real hard. When God, as it was taught to us by the Most Honorable Elijah Muhammad, the Messenger of God, and many of the Muslims, the world Muslims may not accept the Honorable Elijah Muhammad as a messenger, but the Quran teaches us also that he have given us messengers that is not even mentioned in the Holy Quran. But yet, this man, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, says that he is a messenger of Allah and he had a message to give to a people. Mm -hmm. And the message that he had to give to his people was actually in the Bible, the lost sheep. A particular people to give them a knowledge of themselves, of who they are. He said, well, who is the black man? He said the black man is the Asiatic black man, the maker, the owner, the cream of the planet Earth, God of the universe. Now, I was sitting here listening to everyone singing a song, and you said Jesus is God. Did you say that? Yes. All right. If you say Jesus is God, is he a man? Yes, yes or no? Both. So he's God and he's man. But it was said that God is the spirit. And to worship him in what? Spirit and what? Truth. Is that right? But yet the song say Jesus didn't say Jesus is spirit. Says what? Jesus is God. Now many of the Muslims say, well, hold it now. Hold, hold, hold it. Hold it now. Pastor Gino, you say that Jesus is God. All right? Jesus never talked about himself. Who did he talk about? The Father. What will did he talk about? Did he talk about his will or thy will? He talked about who will? God's will. What is your name again, brother? Brother Naji Muhammad. Brother Naji Muhammad. Uh, that's all well and good. I yeah. want to, I, I, I'm making points. I okay. want to get right down yes, get right of what down we're saying. Talk, because like I, I said, know. we're not talking about flesh and blood. We're talking yeah. about a teaching that thousands of nations of Islamic brothers and sisters believe that God created himself from darkness. And all I want to know out of everything is said, the bottom line is this. Either that teaching is a lie that deceived people into believing something about God that's not true, or either that teaching is true according to the Bible or the Quran. Okay. All right. Let's get back to the mystery of God. Let's get right back to the mystery of God. The and Bible says, "Great is the who mystery is of God." Godliness. As I started, there was nothing. Mm -hmm. Is that right? Yes, sir. Nothing in existence. Well, hold it. What's the hold, hold it, it now. I don't mean Let to me, cut you off. Go ahead. But if you said there was nothing, mm -hmm. and Elijah Muhammad said there was something, mm -hmm. <laughs> what you mean something? Darkness is not. Is that not an element? Oh yes. I'm getting ready to dab right into that. All right, dab now. I'm going to dab into it. <laughs> I want you to dab now, brothers and sisters. As I stated to you that the Honorable Elijah Muhammad never got into issues that are discussions of that. Yeah. But let's get back into our thinking, put our thinking caps on. Mm -hmm. There was darkness, which triple darkness that the Honorable Elijah Muhammad said God came into. And Pastor Gino, I came here a year ago and you said God can do anything. That's you right. said that. Oh, yes. That's right. So when God, when there was nothing, and even there was no darkness, but God was here. Mm -hmm. Now, in darkness, to deal with the teachings of the Most Honorable Elijah Muhammad, you have to deal with science. You got to deal with science. Well, because in darkness, there is what? Matter. Mm -hmm. See the lights that's on in here? It's called electricity. No one don't really understand the power of electricity. Electricity works within the conveyor of copper, 
wire. Aluminum wire, but the best is gold. The same thing that God does, he, he do the same within us. The spirit, of, the spirit of God. But before there was nothing, there was no darkness. But yet, there's nothing. So now God wants to bring something into existence. Instead of just nothing, that, nothing in existence, he wants to bring something into existence. So he brings himself mm. now. into existence in darkness. He had to create darkness first to come in to, to because in darkness there's matter. So he comes in within that and matter into existence. So God is made from matter. Is he made from matter? That's what you said. No, no, now no. Hold it, just no, here. hold it. He Go comes, ahead. no, listen, listen, ahead, listen, listen carefully. Matter is materialized. Something that you can, it comes, it, it's real. So order from to come into existence, he had to come, he had to create darkness. Because in darkness, there's matter. Do y'all hear the contradiction? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, brother. Peace be upon all the worthy servants of God. Yes. When a thing come into being, it wasn't here before. Right. If a thing come into being, it was not here. That's, that's just true. Right. We came into being, we were not here. Right. So when you say God created himself, when a thing is created, it's made, correct? Right. Now, when it's self created. When a thing self created. Self created. Right. If God self made himself. Hmm. Hmm. If God self into created it. himself, how is he everlasting? Because we're not talking about the physical elements does has a beginning. Yes, but... But he had to come into a physical form because in your own scripture says that I created man in what? In my image. So the form that he came in when he created himself from darkness. From out of triple darkness. Was what? It was matter within triple darkness. Now, do you believe the Quran? Yes. Are you a devout Muslim? Yes. Do you believe the teachings of the Prophet, peace be upon him, Muhammad? Yes. Is that the teachings of Muhammad? Yes. Read it. What, sir? What verse? You tell me. You said it is the teachings of Muhammad that God, Allah, created himself from darkness. If that's the teachings of Muhammad, peace be upon him, then you should be able to go to the Quran where Muhammad taught this to the Islamic world. Amen. Okay. There was no man can be a devout Muslim and speak contrary to Allah, the Quran, and Muhammad. Amen. No Muslim in the world can be a devout Muslim and speak against Allah. Allah said he is eternal. You said he came from darkness. Who's telling the truth, Allah or you? Talk to me. Let me say this. Shit. Every prophet, a messenger that came, they had a message. They may have had a different message, but the principle, yes, remains the same. What is that principle, sir? The principle that there is no God but Allah. Yes. And that he is eternal. Yes. He is everlasting. Mm -hmm. And that we are to do his will. That was the message that every prophet a messenger came to us and to the world. Well, I'm dealing with a different message. Yeah. And the message that I'm having problem with, problem with is that Allah created himself. In other words, Allah is self-made. He's a self-made God. Mm -hmm. 
This is the teachings of the nation of Islam that Almighty God, the sender of all prophets, He is a self made God. No prophet in the Quran or in the Bible have ever taught such a teaching. If there is a new revelation about God, it must be verified by the scriptures. We have all the scriptures now. That's right. We have all the scriptures now. Right. We have the Quran, the scriptures of Islam. We have the Bible. We have all the scriptures here. And we should be able to get one prophet. Amen. At least one. Uh, Muhammad or Isaiah or David or Jeremiah or Elisha or Daniel or Abraham. The Bible says bring forth your witnesses that you might be justified. Yeah. Yeah. Your justification must be in here. You're giving me what some man told you who was not able to justify his teaching in the Quran. Right. So, why should I or the Muslim world believe something that this book itself do not represent God in that manner. Amen. You got to help me out, man. Talk to me. I'm going to talk to all of you. Yeah. <laughs> as a Muslim and as a believer of the Most Honorable Elijah Muhammad, this is the knowledge had never been told before. And I'm not here to make you a believer of the Most Honorable Elijah Muhammad. I'm sure that many of you had never heard that before. And that you maybe perhaps is taking face value of what is being said. But as a believer of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, I have to believe it as a believer. Hold it just a minute, brother. Yes, sir. Is your loyalty, your loyalty, you are committed to the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, true? My loyalty is to Allah. Okay, is your loyalty are to the teachings of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad? Yes. Now, if we teach something about Allah that contradicts Allah, are you loyal still to that teaching? Yes. Mm. Because it's not contradicted. That is not a Muslim. It is not contradicted. Not at all. Not this at all. Holy Quran hmm. supposed to be the foundation of the religion of Islam. Amen. If Allah cannot be respected by Elijah Muhammad or Minister Farrakhan or anyone else as the absolute, the eternal, self-existing, self-guided, always was, having no beginning and no ending. If he's not represented in that manner, you're not a Muslim. Amen. Listen at what you just said. I ask you that if Elijah Muhammad teach you something about Allah mm -hmm. that contradicts Allah, mm -hmm. would you believe it? You say yes. You are putting Elijah Muhammad above God. Amen. See, no. That is incorrect. How? That is incorrect. How, brother? For one thing, who make Muslims? Well, God's supposed to make Muslims. Right. So, for you to say that I'm not a Muslim, that is incorrect. Because the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, when he came to us, he said that I'm the messenger of Allah. He never said that I was the messenger of Master Fraud Muhammad. He said I'm the messenger of Allah. And I am here to give a message to my people. Does his message supposed to be in agreement with what already Allah said in the Quran? Yes. Do not the message that God created himself contradicts what Allah said in the Quran about himself? Brother you can't deny the fact, brother, that it Pastor. contradicts Allah. 
and you should not be afraid to say it. Amen. Pass if it. you expect to be in paradise with the other Muslims, peace be upon them all, you must recognize Allah first. Yes. That's right. Yes. You must agree with Allah first. We must submit to the teachings of Allah first. And if a messenger of Allah deviate from the message of Allah, then the deviation of that message is wrong. Amen. Amen. The teachings of the Most Honorable Elijah Muhammad may not be understood to many people. And there may be some contradiction as far as when you hear the teachings. But in reality, it is not. It is real, and the Honorable Elijah Muhammad was, and he is the messenger. That does not take away anything away from Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him. That doesn't take anything away from him, because we believe in Prophet Muhammad, because if it was not him, there would not be a foundation at all. Oh, so mm. if it was, I'm so glad you said that. Yes. Amen. If it wasn't Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, then it would not be no foundation. Right. So, are the Muslims required to follow the foundation laid by the Prophet Muhammad? Yes. If they are required by the Quran to follow the message, then every Muslim that come with the message from the Quran must agree with Allah. True? Yes. Amen. Did the Honorable Elijah Muhammad agree with the Prophet Muhammad? Yes. The Prophet Muhammad says God is eternal and that Allah made darkness. The Honorable Elijah Muhammad said God created himself from darkness. Triple darkness. Triple darkness or quadruple <laughs> or mass darkness. Whatever way you desire to put it, my sole interest is what the scripture says. Right. We cannot teach Muslims from the scriptures and then disbelieve the scriptures. Amen. Is that right? Amen. That's right. My Muslim viewers <clears throat> that hear us around the world and that walk us through America, you, we cannot, you cannot disbelieve the Quran and then read from the Quran you disbelieve. Amen. We cannot say that Muhammad laid the foundation, then a teaching come along that contradict the foundation that was laid. The scriptures teaches us this. The Bible says, other foundation no man can no man lay no man than that is what which is laid. So again, we got a stiff contradiction. As I stated to you, Pastor Gino, that Prophet Muhammad, he has set a foundation. And when you see the uh, Kaaba, which is in Mecca, yes. you know, as a believer, as a Muslim, we are to visit at least once in a lifetime. Yes, sir. To walk around a car bar seven times, which that's a significant sign. It means something. Yes, sir. And to also is to kiss the black stone. Mm -hmm. So what is the purpose of kissing, kissing the black stone? Uh, and what is the purpose of walking around a car bar seven times? Uh, sir, I don't, yes. I don't know the purpose of kissing the stone. I don't know the purpose. I don't mind acknowledging. I don't know the purpose of walking around it seven times. But I do know the purpose how that stone got here. God created everything. And... Um, we're not dealing with walking around the stone. No. We're not dealing with kissing it. We're dealing with the maker and sender of all prophets. Amen. You see, it is unnecessary for us to talk about all this other stuff until we get God right. right. That's right. First thing first. Listen, we, 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 we can't talk about God like he's somebody from the hood. Amen. Amen. The representation of God is going to judge us. Amen. And if we misrepresent God, we'll be a damn people. Amen. God is perfect. God is absolute. God is infallible. Amen. 
the teaching that God created himself, that God was made, I firmly believe it's a lie. Amen. And I got scripture in the Bible and the Quran that would justify me saying so. That's right. Pastor Peter, yes, you say that Jesus is God, is that right? We're not talking about Jesus being God. No. We ain't talking about that. No. We ain't talking about man, we ain't talking about flesh, we ain't talking about Mary, we ain't talking about Joseph, we're not talking about Abraham, we ain't talking about Ishmael or Isaiah or Isaac. We're talking about God. Amen. In the mystery of God. We're talking about God and how God came into being if he came into being. A right. divine being. He, came, he became a divine being? He came as a divine being. Was God always was? He always was and is and shall always be. So he wasn't created? Self-created. Hmm. <laughs> Will you please show us in the scriptures where such a teaching is there? Because brother, you know, and I know, and the viewing audience know, and everybody here knows that this brother loyalty to Elijah Muhammad have exceeded his loyalty to God and he would not say that Elijah Muhammad did not teach the truth. Amen. In my closing, brothers and sisters, <laughs> you know, when prophets and messengers came, they ridiculed him, they mocked him, they laughed at him. But when reality came, they realized that the message that was brought to the people, it was true. So you can laugh, you can ridicule me, or the teachings of the Most Honorable Elijah Muhammad, it's fine. Disinspected. No, don't misunderstand me. We're not laughing at you. We don't want you to misrepresent me. Right. Right. I'm not laughing at you. I'm not ridiculing you. We're dealing with truth. It's the reality of a lie. The truth is plain and simple. If I teach something about God that's not true and it contradicts the scriptures, you are justified saying I'm a lie. That's right. Amen. Amen. See, all messengers of God have a power or an authority that's greater than thee, than they. That's right. And they must respect God and represent God correctly. <laughs> all I'm saying that the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, <clears throat> if he is and was the messenger of Almighty Allah, then why would he tell you something about Allah that the religion of Islam have nothing to do with. Amen. Make me understand why the messenger of Allah will teach you something about Allah that has nothing to do with Allah. I believe it's in Surah 7 that Allah tells the uh, angels to bow down to a blip to I mean a blip to bow down to the angel yes and the angel or a blip would not bow to him but Allah is saying to bow to telling a blip to bow to the angel but the angel said uh, the blip said no I'm not going to bow. And Allah said, why would you not bow? Because he said, I'm made out of fire. Mm. And I'm better than you. So but what is my point? We say that Allah is God, yes. But yet, in the Quran, Allah says, and demand is blip to bow to an angel. And yet, in the Muslim world, we used to worship no one but Allah. What is your point, brother? My point is that when the Honorable Elijah Muhammad came to us, he wanted to show the world that who we are, that we are gods. And in your Bible, it says that we are the children of the Most High God. Mm -hmm. The Most High God. We are God. We are not Allah, but we are gods. Mm -hmm. 
and our will is connected with Allah and that we are capable of doing powerful great things but in God's will I agree with that 100% brother I agree yeah. with that 100% uh, I have no quarrels with that at all uh, my uh, discussion is not with the children of Allah or that we are gods but talk about the God of heaven and earth right. and I'm telling you either we as the people of God Almighty tell the truth about him Amen. or lie about him Amen. The Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him it is written in the surah 6 Allah says he's eternal absolute the Bible says from everlasting to everlasting to, to everlasting thou art God when you say everlasting that's no beginning everlasting is there an ending or a beginning to everlasting okay is it let me make a point before you make your point can you answer that question yes there is a beginning to everlasting there is an everlasting. There is. The Honorable Elijah Muhammad said <clears throat> that everything, it does has a beginning somewhere, but it was not, it was no one to record the beginning. Now, let's say that you're here, you're 35 years of age, and brother, he made a good point when he mentioned it the other day, mm -hmm. brother Amir. Eternal. Now, if you're 35 years, let's say you're 35 years of age. All right. And he said, well, where did you come from? Well, I come from my mother. Okay, but how old are you? I'm 35 of age. What was you yesterday? Well, yesterday I was 35, but 12 months ago I was 34. Okay, what was you when you was 34? Well, 12 months, I was 34 of age. Now, what was you the following year? I was 33. What was you when you was one years of age? Well, I was 12 months. What was you when you was one month? I was 32 days old. What was you when you was one day old? I was 24 hours old. What was you when you was in the womb of your mother? How, how far back you going, brother? Oh, we going all the way back. <laughs> we going all the way back because there is, take, take us when home. it comes, I'm going to take you home yes, because sir. there is, there is no, there is no ending to it. To what? We are here. There's no ending even to our birth. You cannot find the birth record of the black man. This is scientifically the truth. Well, let me say this. Let me say this. You, let me finish my All point, right, ahead, brother, brother Pastor ahead. Gino. Go ahead, sir. You cannot find the beginning of our birth. All right. Right? All right. But you can find the beginning of other people's race. You said, well, there are... We are one race of people. Well, we as black, we don't consider ourselves as race because we consider ourselves as the original. Everything that came after us be begins to be what? A race. But eternal actually begins in us, the black man. Mm -hmm. You can take it or you can leave it alone. All now right. that is everlasting. What is everlasting? Black man? Oh, yes, sir. Oh, Could, oh. Yes. The black man is everlasting? everlasting connected with the creator all right hmm. <laughs> let's break it down break it down amen because he don't want to stand break it, it down. sounds good but he don't want to stand amen. when you say everlasting that title is not given to no one but Allah, God. 
That's right. That's right. Man never bears the title everlasting. Did Prophet Muhammad give man the title everlasting? No, Allah, he's everlasting. No, you said man is everlasting. I said the black man. All right, black is man. Ever you and he, I. He is everlasting connected with the creator. Does the Quran teach that? Does the Quran? No, the messenger teach that. Does his, found, does his message supposed to come from the Quran? The Quran teaches us that believe in Allah and his messenger. But if you're going to believe in Allah, and if that messenger is the messenger of Allah, will he not bring you the message according to the Quran? Yes. Did that message come from the Quran? Did that message? Uh, no. No, sir. You're right, it didn't. No. no. But my point, but my point is this. We, let's say this, listen to this. Say on. Say on. Say on, take your the time. The Quran, the Holy Quran, right, teaches us again that Allah, he is the messenger. And the messenger, wherever the messenger says, we believe. All right. Even though it's not in the Quran, but we believe. Now, Jesus walked the planet Earth, did he or did he not? Yes. And there was things that he done and did. Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him. He did things. Right? But in the hadith, the Muslims believe certain things that what Prophet Muhammad did and what he did not, what he said, what he, what he did, what he said. But yet, you will find things in the hadith that is not in the Quran. Does the hadith contradict the Quran? Does the hadith? No, sir. The hadith is supposed to be inspired by the same spirit that inspired Prophet Muhammad? Excuse me? The hadith, does that supposed to be inspired by the same spirit that inspired Prophet Muhammad to write the Quran? Prophet Muhammad did not write the Quran. Well, excuse me if I said it wrong. Is the same spirit that sponsored the hadith sponsors the Quran? Well, Authorize there are, it. Well, there, is, there are many Muslim scholars who made the, uh, as far as making the, the hadith studying the history of Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him. So putting, putting together the hadith. But my point is. Does the uh, writings contradict the Quran? Oh, no, sir. But, no, right. sir. But do some hadith may not be good because there are some scholars that gives another interpretation does not actually correspond with the Quran. That's my point. Right. Right. Now that's my point. Right. And now that's my point, too. Now you're coming around the mountain. All right. I want to get up there, too. <laughs> Now, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, I'm sorry, the messenger of Allah to the nation of Islam. I want to read something in the Bible. Mm -hmm. The reason why we put emphasis on let us believe what is written. written. Listen at the scriptures. Romans chapter 15 and at verse 4. For whatsoever things were written aforetime whatsoever things were written aforetime were written were written for our learning for our learning that we through patience that we through patience not getting there Harry but be patient and comfort and comfort or consolation of the scriptures of the scriptures might have hope so if I'm required to have hope, hope in the messenger of Allah the honorable Elijah Muhammad mm -hmm. then he must bring me the scriptures for my learning That's right. and his teaching must be in compliance with the scripture of Muhammad. Amen. That teaching that God created himself from darkness triple for the darkness. triple darkness or quadruple darkness. 
and the black man being oh. everlasting, the black man being eternal, the black man being always was. If the black man always was, he is himself almighty Allah. That's right. And I dare any black man in this building <laughs> or in this pulpit mm -hmm. tell me you are Allah. If a black man Amen. in here is God, I'm going to beat God today. That's right. That's right. No man of no religion right. is going to be little God. Amen. God is, not God is almighty. Yes. We are weak. That's right. We have problems in the flesh. That's right. Man fornicate. God don't fornicate. Amen. Man lie. God don't lie. Amen. Man die. God don't die. That's right. That's right. That's true. Pastor, Pastor Gino. Yes, sir. All praise be to Allah. When you say that I, I'm not saying that I'm Allah. I'm not Allah. When you say you're everlasting, the black man is saying he's everlasting. Let me, let me say this, uh, Pastor Gino. Yes, you come to help him also, brother? Hey, he's come. What is your name, brother? Well, brother Amin Khalees. Brother Amin Khalees. Assalamu alaikum. You want, go ahead, brother. Then yeah, he because, can help let, me, let me make this point. Yes. We are not, I'm not saying that I'm Allah, no. But I am saying that I am a part of God creation, that I'm connected with him. That I can agree with. But how can you make that statement, then put the word everlasting? Because there's no birth record. And you cannot find the birth record of the black man. Even though there is no birth record, can we not deny the black man was created? Yes. So if he was created, that means he wasn't always here. And if he wasn't always here, he got a father. Right. And if he got a father, God is his father. God is his originator. So he came into being. So the title everlasting cannot be attached to man. Let me, let me say this. That, that I am not God, the Allah. But yes. Again, I am connected with him. I agree with that. And that your Bible teaches the same thing. I am in full agreement with that. And that... There's going to come a time that there will, be, there will not be fornication. There yes. will not be adultery. Yes. There's going to come a time that man is going to uphold the Lord of God. I agree. There's going to come a time that there will be no evil. Yes. There's going to be a time that there will be no wrongdoing. Talk to me. And yet it will be the man that will uphold the Lord. Yes. So even though man does fornication, yes. even though man does, ain't woman too, I ain't leaving you out either, do uh, adultery, yes. but yet it's going to come a time of a new world order that there will not be evil, wickedness, badness, wrongdoing, because it is man, with the help of God, will uphold the Lord. Listen, and I brother, with that. I am in full agreement with that. Yeah. You I believe that? that? You want to turn the microphone yes. over to... All right, brother. Let's Thank you, uh, brothers and sisters. Right. Assalamu alaikum. Yes, sir. Yes, yes. Introduce the brother. Let me put this on the brother here. I want to thank Brother Naji. Yes, sir. I want my brothers to be comfortable. You can put this in your inside so pocket, brother. Enlightenment. Uh, right now, I would like to bring up uh, Ami Halif. And I just want to say in closing, I want to thank... Uh, Minister Gino for allowing me to speak. That's right. And I just want to say one thing. Um, one day when the time comes, I'd like to talk about God's coming. Uh, we could talk about God or that first God, how he was created all day. But when the time comes, I'd like to talk about his coming. Not Jesus, but God coming first. And with that, I'd like to say thank you and bring up, I mean, Yes, uh, yes, Brother Small. Go ahead, you can say something before. Yes, Go ahead, Brother. Yes, we, I would also like to say in closing again, we knew that this was going to be a very, very difficult subject to touch on. Yeah. We knew it, Brother, from the door. Right. So we didn't come like, you know, like we really had it. We just wanted to show you That's right. that we stood and we stand on what we believe in. Even though you have a lot of followers out here as well, you know what I mean, that really may not even can, you know what I mean, um, defend their faith. 
but they'll hold mm -hmm. on to it. Brother Smallwood, you and I have talked more over. Yes, sir. I mean, we have talked more over. Let us just be right down to earth, one brother to another. Right. If, if I was your leader, and regardless of how much you loved me as your leader and your teacher and your guide, could you support a teaching from me that is incorrect? No, I couldn't, I couldn't support you, but I know, I wouldn't know that as a student, if I was a student of yours, I know that there's a lot of things that you will teach that I may not fully understand. I agree. That's what I'm saying. This, listen to me. Please, brother. please, Clear. brother. See, this is how it is with the Honorable Elijah. This is how it is with faith. Now, some people can quote scripture. You got Brother William right here. He's very good, man, at doing what he does with the Bible, finding a certain chapter. Everybody's not good at doing what he does. You have some brothers that can sing, you know what I mean, as well as some sisters that can sing. Everybody's not good at what they do. So they, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying, so yes, if I'm a student of yours as we are students of the, I'm trying to become students and growing into the, and maturing into the, the lessons of Almighty God, I'm sure there's going to be issues and <coughs> subjects that I'm sure that even some of your followers have that, you know what I'm saying, they, they, they listening to you at times and don't really understand in context what it is. I'm, right? in, I'm in agreement with that, but should not the lessons be in the scriptures? Sure, the lessons, well, sometimes we could, going back to the Prophet Muhammad and the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, look how the Holy Quran comes back. I'm just giving you a small yes, example. Sir. Yes, sir. Okay, the Bible, for example, I know we're not on the subject. Go ahead. The Bible calls Jesus the Son of God. Right. Right? right. But the Quran says, no, sir that Allah does not have a son. Right. Now, just from that perspective, it would look as though the Prophet Muhammad and the revelation that he received from Allah was contradicting the Bible. Right. But in essence, is it? I understand what it says. No, but I'm just, no, I don't think you do. I don't? No, I don't think you do. Because if you do, but I'm just saying, most Christians do. I don't want to categorize you like that. They don't do that. But I want to say, you know, <laughs> but I want to say ahead, how at times it may appear as though it is contradicting. Yeah. But it's not contradicting. All right. I think, and from what I understand from reading on the Holy Quran, there are times when, when Allah says, or well, as the Bible says about Jesus being called the Son of God, and here comes Muhammad with a revelation from God saying that Jesus is not his son. But in essence, Jesus was the son of God. In the Quran, he's not a son of God, meaning that he's not a son of God by flesh. Right. Because most Christians are under the misconception from their ministers and pastors that Jesus was the flesh and blood son of the creator, mm -hmm. making it look that it char therefore charging God with the act of adultery. Right. So Allah, in order for him to straighten out that confusion, <laughs> he sends a revelation down that says, why? Jesus was not his son. Mm -hmm. That's just an example. But it like just, I it said, I, I, I though, understand that. Right? It appears as though there's a contradiction unless you understand. Now, exactly. for those, what about those who don't understand? Look at how they're walking away, you know what I'm saying, believing and blaspheming God right. just because of what they, they're walking away not really clearly understanding. Exactly. That's, what, that's the point that I was trying to make. I agree 100%. But uh -huh. the only point that I'm striving to make to my brothers from the Nation of Islam God is perfect. God is infallible. No flaws, no errors. The creator of the human family. If the prophet Muhammad wrote in the Quran the message being used by Allah that the Muslim community may live their life by those teachings then any other man who declared himself to be messenger of Allah, especially when you talk about God, how can you tell me you will believe it just because Elijah Muhammad said it, yet... Well, it's not so much of what he said, it's his word that we be a witness to, because we've never before, never before in the annals of history, and as far as I've been living, I've never seen 
a man that came on the scene and did a work in the way that the Honorable Elijah Muhammad was, was blessed right. to do it. He took yeah. people and even baffled the minds of world scientists by taking people mm -hmm. that was in the gutter, bringing them up from nothing, cleaning them yeah. up, brother. He was a man that was taught by God, that had a third grade education. Right. Now, if this man wasn't taught by God and yet he was able to produce men like Minister Farrakhan, who had a three-year college education but never graduated, who took a man like Malcolm X, who had an eighth grade education, and took Muhammad Ali, who would have been just an ordinary fighter, brother, and, <laughs> and, 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 and taught that man, and made that man, and made those men command the attention and the respect from the world, and I think that what we should do, what we should do is we, we should examine the works of that man right. and then look very, very closely at that man. Because unless, just as a diamond, as we discussed it earlier, okay, before we, got, before we came here, the only reason why you look so close at the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, forgive me if I'm wrong, is so that you can find the fault. And that's the only way that you'll ever know if a now, diamond is genuine. Let me say you this. must find the fault. No, I don't look, I will openly admit, and I do respect <laughs> the work that the Honorable Elijah Muhammad done. I respect that. What he done in the community of the black man, I openly and publicly and worldwide respect that. Sure I respect that. How he redeveloped many of the black brothers and sisters who was drug dealers and dope dealers and uh, murderers and thieves. I respect all that. We're not against that. We have no problem against that. His knowledge of business, how he established business to motivate the black people. Yeah. We, as a human being, I have no problems with that whatsoever. Never had and never will. Yeah. The problem I have is his teachings of God, not a restaurant or businesses or mosques. I'm talking about God. This is my problem. I would admit to anyone that Elijah Muhammad came on the scene and brought a message to black men and women that was different from the message of their time. Yet it had similarity to the message of Marcus Garvey. Similarity to the message of the Honorable Noble Drew Ali. Mm -hmm. We have no problems with that, brothers. So it isn't that I'm trying to seek to find out wrong. We care for truth. Right. Truth. Okay, I want to just uh, you know, sign off. And All right, brother. Thank you, brother. And thank you again. <laughs> Assalamu alaikum. As alaikum salam. My name is uh, Amin Khalees. I'm a registered believer of the Honorable Salas Muhammad. I'm uh, not at all here to represent the Nation of Islam under Salas Muhammad, but I'm here to represent myself. All right. Uh, brother, I was listening to you and uh, you had made some statements in reference to uh, perfection of man not being perfect. Man not being perfect like God Almighty himself. Okay, uh, what is this? Well, that's a red book. <laughs> right. Did you spoke the truth or, you just, or you, did you lie? Oh, I spoke the truth. But then in that case, you spoke the perfect truth that makes you, perf that makes you perfect in that aspect. Yes. Man can be perfect in speaking the truth. You're looking at it on the physical side. No, no, your, no, no, I'm not. I'm man not. can be perfect in speaking the truth. I agree. Do your children, their children I down agree. the line. I so agree. man can be perfect. And another thing, brother, you was mentioning different things about God using pronouns and referring to God as a he. And you, my uh, perception of you as being an intelligent black man, uh, using God as a he. He the spirit. Pardon me. Go ahead, brother. So using God as a he, yeah. referring to a physical human being. No, nah, no, that's not true. You know, you, you, I can use the word he and talk about the Lord. Well, if you're talking about a Lord, to me. I didn't say a Lord. Okay. When you say the Lord, is that Almighty Allah? Pardon me? The Lord. 
When you say the Lord, that's God. When you say a Lord, that can be you and I. That's right. Okay, now. Is that right? I'm trying to use righteous understanding. I'm not trying to. And, and, no, righteous, but, and righteous intelligence. Yeah. But you're trying to sway me into this uh, Eurocentric Christian type ideology of what God is. Brother, what is the composition of God? Brother Small would know better than that. I'm not like okay, that. Okay, but brother. what is the composition of God? Uh, the composition of God, what do you mean? Make me understand. Uh, can God hear? God said he hear all things. Okay, now we got one composition verified that man can hear. Can God talk? Oh yeah, he speak from the head. Can you verify again that man, again, now yes. you're saying that uh, God, yeah, I heard you say God is all-knowing, all-wise. Yes. He's also omnipotent. Is man all-knowing? Yes, he is. You know everything? No. But, <laughs> no, listen, listen. See, see, see you want to joke. You want to be foolish. You want to joke and laugh, but you, no. you want to joke and laugh, but see what I'm saying to you? Allah didn't I have, listen, I have, I'm being truthful. I'm not standing up here trying to put on, um, make, make up something that's is, is, is not true. I'm trying to be truthful as I can. You are a Muslim? Yes, I am. You believe the Quran? Uh, I believe that the Quran and the Bible have been tampered with. So, do you believe, all right, just a minute, That's right. just a minute. Do you believe that Allah created all things? What Allah? God Almighty. 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 I put it that well, way. Like I said, if you, when you talk to brothers like me, you have to use righteous in intelligence. When you describe it something, when you say mighty, you're talking about something physical. Almighty. You know, almighty. What I'm saying, only a man can be almighty. It was a man that put these things together. But I don't know nothing outside of man that did anything other, other than what man did. You with him? Just, just a minute, brother. Just a minute. You with him? Now, hold it. <laughs> what mosque you said you represent? I didn't say I represent any mosque. I said well, I'm not here to represent. Okay, what imam do you represent, if any? I'm a registered believer of the Honorable Salvas Muhammad. All right. Let us see who's responsible for children getting here. In Genesis chapter 30. Listen. And begin reading at the first verse. You see, you can't tell me nothing get away with it without it being written. Amen. It is written for our learning. That's right. Listen. Genesis chapter 30 and at verse 1. And when Rachel saw that she bare Jacob no children. When Rachel saw she did not bear Jacob no children. Rachel envied her sister. Not that they wasn't trying. That's right. That's right. They were trying. That's right. And she was jealous of her sister. Rachel envied her sister. Rachel envied her sister and said unto Jacob and said to her husband Jacob give me children give me children or else I die or else I'm going to die and Jacob's anger was kindled Jacob's against Rachel anger was kindled against Rachel and he said and he said am I in God's stead am I Am God stead? Who hath withheld from thee? God hath withheld from thee the fruit of the womb. The fruit of the womb. God put you here. You still have not verified. What God are you representing? What? God Almighty, Creator then you, of all things. Then you tell me about a physical God. You tell, when you say mighty, you're talking about no, something. I, I, I said God all. And I'm trying to understand what, you, what, what, you, what, what you're saying I, to me. I'm talking about the God that made this planet yeah. that you're standing on. Yeah. But yeah. You don't have that knowledge. You can't comprehend his knowledge. That's right. How are you going to comprehend his knowledge? You wasn't even there. Right. You wasn't there. God didn't make the heavens and the earth? Well, pardon me. Pardon me. God didn't make the heavens and the earth? Yes, he did. Are you on the earth? Yes. Well, I comprehend that. Okay, well, what I'm saying. I comprehend that. I comprehend that. You're, what you comprehend is what you read now the scriptures. Which, How did which, you get here? Through a man and a woman. How did they get here? Through a man and a woman. All right. How did they get here? The other ones get here. The man and the woman. Oh, who begin everything? I don't have that knowledge. We don't have that. See, be truthful. You mean to tell we me? We don't have that knowledge. Be I got, truthful. Are you telling me I have Muslims here now who don't even believe in Allah? I do believe in Allah. You're looking right at them. You're God? The messenger said that every black man and child is God. 
and the white man is the devil. Are you almighty? Am just, I, just a minute, wait just a minute, just a minute, just a minute. Are you the almighty Allah? No, I'm not the almighty Allah, we but I am you? almighty. You are? Oh. No, I'm not the almighty Allah. You am almighty? Yes, I am. You I can, can pick you up. I can pick that brother up. I can't. If you use righteous intelligence, you trying to you, give me spookism. You, 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 you can do all. <laughs> Understand? Listen, is God, is God a spirit? Yes, he is. That resides in me. According to the scripture, the temple of God resides in you. No. Not outside of you. Not in the trees and in the breeze. Knowledge is found in the house of man. How do knowledge get there? Do another man. How do that man get the knowledge? Do another man. How do he get it? Do another man. How did the first man get it? I, have, I don't have that knowledge to say that. Well, I got knowledge to say it. Well, uh, okay. Where, All right. Where did you get that knowledge? And that you don't have knowledge okay. to say it. Listen. Where did you get that Listen. knowledge from? And that you don't have knowledge to say it. Listen. If you don't have it, okay. I'm going to teach you today. Okay. And I'm going to give you some knowledge. Amen. But let's, let's dive into the Bible. Amen. 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 You don't have knowledge. If you don't have knowledge where all things come from, then let us get that knowledge from the prophets who got their knowledge from God. But prophets, That's right. prophets are men. Where do they get their knowledge from? From other men. Isaiah, who did Isaiah get his knowledge Isaiah. from? From another man. Who did Muhammad get his from? Another man. Who was the man? Master Farad Muhammad. No, I'm talking about Prophet Muhammad. Prophet Muhammad over 1400 years ago. What man gave him revelation? Another man. Who was he? I don't have that knowledge. I'm being truthful. I'm being truthful. See, see, what I'm saying is I can't make anything up. See, what you're doing, you're going to, you're going to the book. We know that the Quran was revealed to Muhammad by way of the angel Gabriel. Yeah. A man. A flesh and blood man. But see, Gabriel was flesh and blood. But see. Just, just a minute, brother. Hold it. Let's backtrack. Backtrack. Okay. The, the Quran teaches how the angel Gabriel came to the prophet Muhammad. You're talking the... to me in, in, in Arab theology. We're talking about the science of the, uh, what the Honorable Elijah Muhammad is talking listen. about. Listen. 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 Let's, let's get down to the Quran. Yeah. Prophet Muhammad, messenger of Almighty Allah, Received the message from the angel Gabriel. Is that correct? That's correct, sir. Was Gabriel flesh and blood, or was he the angel as we agree, or was that angel spirit? Flesh and blood. You mean let's, to tell us, you trying to say there's an angel with these big old wings? I didn't say that. Okay, but what are you talking about? You talk, we're talking about men. I'm not, I'm not, I'm All not, right. I'm not we're dealing with spookology. I'm now, dealing with physical. Now, let's deal with the angels of heaven. Heaven. Because you have angels of heaven and angels of earth. That's right. That's right. So, in fact, what do you mean by heaven? Just a minute. Let us just see what the scripture says about Gabriel. Did, did they have any airplanes back then by any chance? You, 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 think, you think they had, you know, airplanes that sort of men could fly around back then? Uh, uh, brother, I really don't know. Could Gabriel fly? I don't know. Uh, what do you get here? What's your point? Because, you know, flesh and blood can't fly unless they're in a plane or a jet or a helicopter or something. Would you agree? Yes. So did Gabriel fly? I don't know. What do you think? Did Gabriel fly? I agree with brother. You don't know either? I don't know. That's, that's, that's being airplanes truthful. airplanes back in those days, I guess you could. So, but, so they had airplane. As far as him having wings on the back, front, I, I, ain't, I ain't talking about wings. I ain't, I just simply asked, could Gabriel fly? If there was airplanes or spaceships back in those days, yes. So uh, back in the days of Isaiah and Daniel and Daniel. Abraham, they had airplanes and jets flying around. We don't know that. I say if, if, if they hmm. had those machines, yes, they could fly. Cause that's the only way man can fly. Ooh. That's the only way man can fly. That's right. God can't take man somewhere. Without the aid of a machine. What God are you talking about? A spook God? Can't a spook or a spirit take me nowhere? Matter of fact, you had made a statement about your God. Uh, if, if anybody uh, quote me if I'm wrong about it, calling himself Allah, you will beat them up? Well, here's a quarter. Tell your God to pick that up. Now watch my God. My Lord. My point to show you there is nothing over me but me. There's no God over me. It is. Matter of fact, I beat your spirit God up before I got here. The it Bible today. says the fool had said in his heart, there is, there no, is God. no God. No God. I got a fool.
fool here. I got a fool here. Now they thought it. You mean to tell me there is no power greater than you? Power represents something physical. Hey, See, if you use righteous intelligence. power greater than yourself? Another man, probably uh, bigger and stronger than me. So, Romans. who made the universe? Man. My Lord. <laughs> there is no God, My there is Lord, no spirit God you know over the black man, woman, and child here in America, or outside of America. Man. The Honorable Elijah Muhammad. The Honorable Elijah Muhammad taught that the you, black that, man that, is that, God that, and the white man is the devil. That's the bottom all right, line. All right, all right, that's, I, I, I'm, that's enough. I'm done with him. Okay. If a man believe that it ain't no power higher than himself, I can't help that man. Romans chapter 13. But let's see. Is there a power mm. greater than God? Mm -hmm. Listen. Romans chapter 13 and at verse 1. Follow me. Let every soul. Let every soul. Be subject. Be subject. Unto the higher powers. Unto the higher powers. For there is no power. There is no power. But of God. But of God. The powers that be. The powers that be. Are ordained of God. Let's see. What is man worth? Amen. Let's see what man is in the world. Amen. Whether you're black in the street, white as milk, yellow as butter, or clear as water. Amen. You, black man and black woman, Amen. you are dust. That's all. And when you die, the worm's going to devour your we carcass. Are. That's right. Talk to me. Amen. Amen. My Lord. Let's see what man is worth, the value of man. In Isaiah chapter 40. The prophet declared. And at verse 6. Isaiah 40 and 6. The voice said cry. The voice, God said cry. And he said, what shall I cry? Lord, what do you want me to say? All flesh. The scripture says, oh, no, just black flesh. All flesh. Amen. Just white flesh. All flesh. Green flesh. All flesh. Blue flesh. All flesh. All flesh is what? Is grass. If you are the Almighty, you should never die. Amen. If you are the Almighty, you shouldn't get sick. That's right. If you are the Almighty, you shouldn't have to submit to the Quran. You are God Himself. That's right. Psalms 39. Psalm chapter 39. And begin reading at verse 4. Begin reading at verse 4. Lord, make me to know mine end. Lord, make me to know my end. So, I guess, my brother, if you happen to die and I go by the casket and look upon you, am I looking upon a dead almighty God? No. My Lord. Yes. Being God over self, it's not me by myself. Brother, you stood and said that you are Almighty Allah. Is that what he said? Amen. Amen. No, I did not. I said that I was mighty. I didn't say I was Almighty. Brother, I specifically, I specifically asked you, were you Almighty Allah? You said yes. yes. Then I turned to Brother Smallwood and said, I know you ain't that bad. Amen. Brother, say that. Well, he said he said mighty. He didn't. Say I didn't say I was all mighty. I said I am mighty. I said I can pick that brother up there. I That's your natural that strength. Yes, yeah, right. And then there are all the brothers who are right. than me. If if you're mighty, if you are mighty, is that strength limited? Yes, it is. But if you all mighty, can right. you do all things? It's limited to me. Can another you? brother can, can, can pick up, pick pick uh, that weight up, and another brother can pick that weight up. Is there? Yeah. Man will when really he want to win. Is there a man as a member of the human race that can do all things? Only a man can speak the truth in a lot. Can a man do all things? Or can God Almighty, creator of the universe, do all things? Man can will whatever he wants. My Lord. He can. And the white man can prove it to you. 
You know he can't. Listen, I defy every religion on earth. Amen. Amen. That contradict God. That's right. There's not a priest, That's a right. monk, a preacher, an imam, nobody. Nobody. That's the almighty outside of God himself. That's right. God is responsible for all of us being here. Amen. Amen. That's why Islam have a saying, all praise is due unto Allah. That's right. So if you can do it, stop saying it. That's right. Let's say all praise is due to you. Amen. All praise is due unto Allah. Why? Allah get recognition. Allah That's get right. honor. Allah get respect. Allah get all this. That's right. We don't get any of it. Amen. Amen. There is one God that's worthy to be praised. That's right. Worthy to be respected. That's right. And we must represent that God and crush any religion that support polytheism. Amen. There's no God on earth but the God of heaven. That's right. If your God is flesh, he's not God. Not God. That's right. If your God is clay or statue, that's right. It's not God. Not God. God says, "Who is my equal?" That's right. Say it, the Holy Say it One. Say the Holy One. Amen. God speak that which never exists and bring it into being. That's right. Those things that you hear now, that's right, had to come into being. We came into being. Amen. We wasn't always here. No. No, no. you're going out the way you came. That's right. <laughs> and when you die, that's your end. That's your end. And your title everlasting ain't going to help. No, it won't. When you die, hmm. and they say ashes to ashes, dust to dust, here lie a brother that has no more fuss. Amen. <laughs> it's all over. It's all over. I want to thank the brothers who represent the nation of Islam and even those that didn't mm -hmm. for taking time out to come. Amen. We thank them all. God is the greatest. Amen. God is the greatest. Amen. And Islam they say Allah Akbar. Amen. We believe that. Believe that. That is our belief. That's right. Allah who Akbar. That means God is the greatest. Amen. Talk to me. Amen. If God is the greatest, greatest. then we that are less than him That's must right. submit to him, bow to him, Amen. obey him. Amen. Amen. much needed. Yeah. I Amen. thank my brother, Brother Smallwood Muhammad. We've been in communication now more than ever. Amen. And I believe we're going to be in communications more. Amen. Amen. I want to thank you brothers that accompany him, you that have been here before. We thank God for you. Also, we want to thank Brother Talim from the Sunni Muslim community. Amen. And the others that came with them. <laughs> Let me know how much time do we have left with the telecast brothers. 
There is no God but one. Amen. Amen. And everybody in the world must, must obey this one. That's right. You religions that profess to be Christians who have Trinity, three distinct persons in the Godhead working together as a group. Amen. Wrong. Wrong. There is no God but one. But one. That's right. We will live for him. That's right. We will bow to him. Amen. We will serve him. Amen. And if need be, die for him. Amen. All praises oh, due unto God. Amen. Hallelujah. Let us dive into the scriptures. We have 47 minutes. Amen. Before our time run out. Everybody all right? Yeah. Amen. In the 43rd chapter of the book of Isaiah. Mm -hmm. Begin at verse 6. Isaiah chapter 43 and at verse 6. Listen. I will say to the north, give up. Listen, television viewers and radio listeners and you that are here. Pay close attention. I will say to the north, give up. You that live in the north part of the world, give up. God wants you to give up. And to the south, and to the south, keep not back. The act of submission is to surrender all. That's right. Our religion is holiness. Amen. Our religion is not Christianity. No, it's not. God had never thought of a religion called Christianity. That's right. Never had been, never will be. That's right. We can read our religion in the Bible. You may say, who's your founder? We don't have none. Amen. When did it begin? It never began. Never began. What Bible truth had always been here? Listen. In Ephesians chapter 1 and at verse 4. Listen at the book of Ephesians chapter 1 verse 4. According as he hath chosen us in him. According as he hath chosen us in him before the foundation of the world before the foundation of the world that we should be holy our religion was here long before the world was amen what is holiness holiness god is holy that's right god is another yes that's right he is a holy god amen and if you are servants of this holy God, then you ought to be transformed into a holy people by adapting the characteristics of God. That's right. That's what is meant, ye are God. That's right. What do you mean, ye are God? Ye are gods. Amen. Follow me in the back. In St. John chapter 10, begin reading at verse 34. Listen. Jesus answered them, is it not written in your law? Is it not written in your law? I said, ye are gods. I said, ye are gods. If he called them gods unto whom the word of God came, yes. and the scripture cannot be broken. The scripture cannot be broken. And Jesus was quoting the prophet David. That's right. The son of Jesse. Amen. Listen. Psalms 82 and at verse 6. All right. I have said, ye are gods. I have said, ye are gods. And all of you. And all of you. Are children of the Most High. But what? But ye shall die like men. Amen. Amen. In other words, even though <laughs> you may be called God. That's right. The Almighty don't want us to get beside ourselves. That's right. That's right. Because we're going to die. Die like men. Like men. And fall. We're going to fall. Like one of the princes. Like one of the princes. Amen. So for me to be a God, a God. not the God. Right. That's right. For me to be a God in the earth, mm -hmm. meaning a symbol of power. That's right. A representation of power. That's right. Then the Almighty God Himself. Mm -hmm. A lot of men often talk about themselves as a man, man this, man that, man the other. Mm -hmm. Brothers and sisters. Amen. Before you can have a knowledge of yourself as a man mm -hmm. and a woman, you first must have knowledge of God. That's right. 
It is the knowledge of God that is the introduction to yourself. Amen. If you're ignorant of God, you're ignorant of self. That's right. God is all knowing. That's right. We don't know much. No. God is able to do everything. Everything. We're able to do little by his help. That's right. You understand? That's right. We learn. That's right. God don't learn nothing. Amen. He is all knowing. All knowing. We strive to be wise. God is wisdom. That's right. That's right. We strive to understand. God is understanding. understanding. Amen. Go ahead. Go ahead. So for us to be God. God. Wonderful. We must come into the knowledge of good mm -hmm. and evil. That's right. When we come into the knowledge of good and evil, that knowledge qualifies us or prepares us to make a proper decision mm -hmm. about things in life concerning self and others. That's right. You that are here, you that are watching and listening in, mm -hmm. the knowledge of evil is overwhelmingly loved mm -hmm. than the knowledge of good. Amen. That's why religion and members of the human family have chosen evil over good and stop the recognition or try to stop yeah. the recognition of God. Amen. Look at yourselves. Amen. You go to your churches mm -hmm. and smoke hmm. and drink. That's right. Gamble. Yeah. Live together, not marry. Mm -hmm. A sissy would be Christian preacher. Amen. Talk to me. Amen. That's right. A lesbian on a choir. Yes. All under the heading of God. That's right. And the title of Christianity. Christianity. But when you say holiness, holiness. that Amen. commands the utmost respect and obligation mm -hmm. and loyalty and commitment and submission and total surrender to the God of the universe. That's right. Why? Because if God is creating a holy people mm -hmm. through teaching. Through teaching. That's right. Teaching develops a people. Amen. Teaching also damns a people. That's right. Teaching resurrects a people. Amen. Do we believe in the resurrection of the dead? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. That's right. We believe that man is resurrected every day. Amen. Long before a mass resurrection takes place. That's right. What is resurrection? resurrection. It is the knowledge of God. Mm -hmm. You know, for years, churches and preachers have taught Gabriel going to blow a trumpet. Mm -hmm. Gabriel ain't blowing nothing. No. To nobody. That's right. No beat going to be hit. No note going to be sound. That's right. Trumpet represents speech. That's right. In the mouth of the prophet Isaiah. Amen. The Bible teaches us. Cry aloud. Give chapter and verse. In Isaiah chapter 58 and at verse 1. Cry aloud. Spare not. Spare not. Lift up thy voice. Lift up thine voice. Like a trumpet. Like a trumpet. And show my people. And show my people. Their transgression. And the house of Jacob. Their sins. Why is the voice of the messenger styled as a trumpet? Trumpet. Hmm. Let us examine the material of the trumpet. That's right. Some trumpets are made out of brass. Right. Some out of silver. Mm -hmm. But the material of that trumpet mm -hmm. was created by God. That's right. That material was formed and created by the hand of God. Mm -hmm. Get this well. Amen. In the earth. That's right. Then that substance of silver. Mm hmm or brass that's molten out of a stone mm -hmm. went through a process amen then had to be melted down that's right then later cool that's right fashion mm -hmm. shape and form into an instrument amen okay. but first it is formed in the earth that's right any god go sent ahead. messenger go ahead is formed go ahead. in the earth that's right in darkness. That's right. Formed in darkness by the power of light. Amen. In the body of the woman, it's a dark place. That's right. But light is there. That's right. Who is that light? God. 
God. Amen. Where is the light? Heaven and earth. That's right. And the light formed life in darkness. Some preachers preach that God begin to deal with you when you in the light. No, no, no. No, no. That's wrong. That's wrong. Your first experience with God is in darkness. That's right. That's right. God dwells in the darkness. First Kings chapter 8. Someone said that sounds like Islam. No, that's Bible. That's right. God dwell in the darkness. In darkness. Listen at the scriptures. First Kings chapter 8 and at verse 12. Follow me. Then spake Solomon. Then spake Solomon. The Lord said. The Lord said. That he would dwell. The Lord said. That's right. He, he would dwell. Would dwell. In. In. The thick. The thick. Darkness. darkness. Amen. Amen. God said I'll be there. That's right. So God steps or moves in the thick, the thick darkness That's right. of the woman. Go ahead. And the woman body is as a ship. Amen. Because it carry cargo. That's right. Life come in and life come out. That's right. And the ship that is carrying this live stuff. Go ahead. Go ahead. It's carrying it in a dark place. Dark place. But it's being guided mm -hmm. by light. That's right. To better understand it. Mm -hmm. When a ship is sailing on the water mm -hmm. with some valuable cargo, Amen. they have what is called a searchlight. That's right. That's right. It's traveling in darkness. Yeah. But here you have that tower. That's right. That light. Mm -hmm. And the ship see it. Right. The men on the ship see it, even though the compass may get it wrong. But if they follow that light, follow the light. Amen. The light guides them safely into port. That's right. God is the light. God is the light. That's right. Talk to me. That's right. The scripture says, Thine word is a light, light. Mm -hmm. unto my what? Pathway. My feet. feet. And is a lamp unto my path. Pathway. Why would you need light on your feet and on your path? You won't need it unless you're traveling in darkness. That's right. Somebody traveling in darkness. That's right. So you need light. Listen at the prophet. In Psalms 119 and at verse 105. Thy word. Thine word. Is a lamp. Is a lamp. Unto my feet. Hold it. Amen. Words. Words. Speech. Mm-hmm. Bears the title of what? Thy word is a lamp. The word is a lamp? Word is a lamp. A lamp. Go ahead. How does word, how can word be a lamp? Mm -hmm. Because if you are ignorant, mm -hmm. you are in darkness. That's right. And the lamp comes in the form of speech. That's right. To resurrect that dead mind and dead heart who's ignorant of God so ignorant of self that's right and through the sound of the trumpet go ahead. through the sound of words go ahead go ahead light light is heard that's right then when light is heard and light is believed then light calls the mind to be active that's right when the mind become active the heart begin to comply with what the mind think and the heart become emotional with thoughts Amen. from the mind. That's right. Then the body begin to become active with what the ears have heard, right. what the mind have thought and what the heart feels. That's right. Then you go ahead. Become a reflection of that light. That's right. When you live by that light that's shining upon your footsteps. That's right. You don't need no light at your feet if you know where you go. Where you going. Amen. That's why folks need teaching. That's right. You are traveling, viewers. Traveler. Amen. But you don't know where you're going. That's right. You're shouting yours to God. Amen. In your churches. Amen. But all in the dark. In the darkness. You are singing, serving communion. Yeah. Praying to Mary. Amen. Praying to some idol. That's right. Praying to some statue. Amen. Crazy about a white preacher. Crazy about a black preacher. Yes. To hell with them all. That's right. Amen. If God is not the light of your religion, that's it. Then your light 
It's darkness. darkness. That's right. God is the light of his holy way. That's right. Light transformed us into a holy people that we may adapt and take on the characteristics of God. That's right. Taking on the character, that's why Jesus was here. Mm -hmm. When we teach Jesus Christ as God, mm -hmm. we ain't talking about no man. No, no. No, no. Mary did not birth God. That's right. That's God right. can't fit in the womb. Amen. In a woman womb that big. That's right. Because right. when I hear the prophet Job talk about God, mm -hmm. Job saw it. That's right. And say, God, mm -hmm. you are higher than heaven. Higher than heaven. You are deeper than hell, yeah. broader than the sea, Long and the longer than the earth. Mm -hmm. That's right. That's God. That's God. When the title is presented in the scriptures, Son of God. That's right. It is ludicrous. Amen. Downright ignorant. Ignorance. For any religion to Boy. think that God plain terms would knock up a woman. Amen. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Teach it. Lay with some woman and play with her womb. Teach it. That's foolish. That's foolish That's thing. Foolish. Amen. God, a sex symbol. My Lord. Imagine that. God in the front of a magazine, he's November sex symbol. My Lord. The teaching of Jesus Christ as God have been misrepresented from churches for years. Amen. And we come to correct that which have deviated. That's right. You men that teach that Mary birthed God, birthed you're God. wrong. That's wrong. You men that teach that God became man, That's wrong. you're wrong. Amen. The Bible teach that God was manifested in, in the, flesh. the flesh. God that God became flesh. That's God right. made flesh, then his presence was in that, in that flesh, flesh and manifested his will in that flesh. That's right. Amen. To better understand it, if I'm a teller. Amen. Go ahead. If I'm a teller. Go ahead. I make a suit. Right. Now, before the suit take on shape, mm -hmm. the moment I buy the material, That's right. I already got the suit. That's right. But I must take time and cut. Right. Fashion. That's right. Shape. Go ahead. From the existing material. That's right. Before the form of man walked earth, when God made the earth, all people was here. That's right. But what was not here? The form. Jeremiah. Let's get some Bible. Jeremiah chapter 4 and at verse 23. Listen. I beheld the earth. The prophet said, I beheld the earth. And lo, lo it was without form. It didn't say he beheld the planet. That's right. That's I can right. Talk about the earth and not talk about the planet. Oh yeah. Hmm. I beheld the earth and lo, and lo, it was without form. Hold it, hold it. How can he be talking about the planet and say the planet was without form and hmm. then I beheld it? That's right. How can That's I see right. the planet and then be talking about the planet and say, well, I'm looking at it didn't have no form? No form. That's right. He's talking about what's within the planet. What is earth? We are. That's right. <coughs> and I beheld the earth. It was without form. For, it was without form without and void. Without form and it was void. No life. That's right. And the heavens. And the heavens, they had no light. So when the earth was made, all populations of the earth was right there. Right there. That's right. But you had no form. No form. Just like when I want to make a suit. Mm-hmm. I go buy my four yards of material, mm -hmm. but you don't see a form of a jacket, That's right. and a form of pants, mm -hmm. and a form of a vest, Right. but it is there. That's right. So what I got to do? Create. Create. 
I got to create and form and fashion me a suit. That's right. And then once I put it on, I manifest myself. Go ahead. Go ahead. I go put on. Put it on. That's right. What another had on. That's right. And then when I put it on. Go ahead. The Go same ahead. name I have, if I'm the creator of the suit. Mm -hmm. The suit take on my name. That's right. That's right. The suit is not me. No. But it is active as long as I'm in it. That's right. Where we teach Jesus Christ is God. No, no man, flesh and blood was God. That's right. God was in that man. God was in him. The Bible says in 2 Corinthians chapter, chapter 5, 5 and at verse 19, verse 19 to wit, to wit that God, where was God located? Was in Christ. In. 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 In Christ. In Christ. Reconciling the world. Redeeming the world. Unto himself. So here comes Jesus being the perfect representation of God himself. That's right. He was an ambassador. That's right. To represent a power higher than his flesh. That's right. That's why he's called son of the highest. highest. That's right. That flesh was not the highest. No, no. That flesh was son. Well, what do you mean son? Servant. Servant. Even the Bible said, now are we the That's sons right. of sons God. Sons of God. What are we? Servants, Servants of God. That's right. So Jesus bear the title son or servant mm -hmm. or minister mm -hmm. of God. That's right. Now the name Jesus mm -hmm. is Amen. an inherited name. That's right. In Hebrews chapter 1. And this is what the churches don't know and what they have never taught. This is why the fight been bitter. That's right. On the subject, Jesus Christ is God. Mm -hmm. As I was talking to my Sunni Muslims brothers in the office, he said, well, Brother Minister, I want you to make it emphatic. You know, we don't believe that Jesus Christ is God. We don't believe that no, no woman birthed God and whatnot. I said, we don't either. That's right. He said, huh? <laughs> he said, wait, 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 wait. He said, now you're going to have to talk to me. <laughs> Amen. Because this is all they heard. Yeah. Because they never heard a man of God in the church before. That's right. All they heard was cross wearing false prophets. That's right. That's right. When I begin to explain to him, God is one. Mm -hmm. And for God to get his divine perfect will over, we don't believe that the Son of God came from heaven. No. No, no. We don't believe no flesh and blood came no from heaven and, and came down to the earth like an astronaut. That's right. That's right. Came jumping down from the heavens. Amen. <laughs> no. We believe the eternal God that made the universe and all things therein visit the house of David, who was of the tribe of Judah, who came from the generations of Shem, the brother of Ham and Japheth, Noah boy. That's right. Yes. And God wanted the perfect representation of himself. Amen. He wanted it so bad, he moved on John to say heaven will search. That's right. Couldn't find no one there. Mm -hmm. Earth, Earth was searched. That's right. Couldn't find no one there. Under the he earth. He went down underneath the earth. Under the earth. That was searched. That's right. Couldn't find no man to swear by, so he swore by himself. By himself. That's right. So the one God said, mm -hmm. Lo, I, I come. I come. Mm -hmm. My brother said, you can't talk about the spirit and use the word he. Mm. Oh, yes, you can. The Bible said, when he, That's the right. spirit of truth, is come. is come, he will guide you. you. St. John, chapter 16. Why would God Almighty be spirit and yes, keep wearing the title of he? He. It's meaning in that. That's right. Yes, it is. The reason why God would always address himself as he, he because man is the representation of God that's right not the woman not the woman the woman is the weaker vessel that's right but it is written how God made man upright upright the woman came after her shape came after that's right that's right 
God bear the title he, he and God bear the title him. That's right. God have never described himself on the female agenda. No, no, never. God sent prophets Amen. with the divine message of truth Amen. to preach. Amen. But he have never sent a prophetess to preach. That's right. He sends a prophetess to foretell an event that's going to come. That's right. But he had never sent a prophetess to come before the folk and break down the scriptures, scriptures. and allow the scriptures and to charge and rebuke and That's chastise. Right. Amen. Amen. Because the woman cannot have use of authority man. over the man. That's right. This ain't male chauvinism. This is God's order. God's law. That's right. Are you listening? Amen. So the teaching of Jesus Christ is God mm -hmm. is referring to the nature of a name. That's right. What is the nature of God? Mm -hmm. the, the na there's two natures, human and divine. Human and divine. Flesh and spirit. And spirit. Let's see what nature does God have. In St. John chapter 4 and verse 24. John 4, 24. God is a spirit. God is a spirit a spirit mm -hmm. Balaam mm -hmm. said in Numbers chapter 23 and at verse 19 he said I bet I'm the son of B.R. falling into a trance having my eyes open having the knowledge of the most high mm -hmm. behold I shall see him not now. but not now I shall look upon him but not Nine, a star mm -hmm. shall come out of Jacob. Jacob. Why would a star come out of Jacob? Stars are not seen until it's night. That's right. And the stars that are seen at night reflect the sun. That's right. Jesus, who bears the title Son of Man, came in the midst of darkness. Darkness, that's right. And he reflected. A light that was greater than his flesh, and that was God. That's right. And the people saw the great light. What was it? Words. Words. That's right. That's why the Pharisees and Sadducees was dumbfounded. Amen. The name of God, mm -hmm. or the name that the Son of God had, mm -hmm. was inherited. That's right. Passed down. Passed down. Given name. That's right. Listen. In Hebrews chapter 1 and at verse 4, being made so much better than the angels. God ain't made. No. That's right. God ain't made. God always was. Always was. We are made. Mm hmm. Are you listening? Amen. It's talking about Jesus here. That's right. It's talking about his son, the flesh. The flesh. That flesh and blood, the human man. Right. The minister, mm -hmm. the servant. That's right. The one that was designed for example purposes. That's right. All right. Being made so much better than the angels. Made so much better than the angels. As he hath by inheritance. As he hath by inheritance. Obtained a more excellent name than they. Well, where did he get his name from? Get it from. He said, I come in my father's name. You certainly ain't talking about Joseph. No. If I was talking about Joseph, why wouldn't the world that Joseph want to put his wife away? He ought to know whether he slept with her or not. That's right. But Joseph lacked the understanding of a divine performance of God. That's right. Why would anyone think it impossible? For God. Mm -hmm. too. That's why the Bible said a new thing that's right. shall be performed, performed in, the, in earth. the earth. Like Adam. Mm -hmm. Adam didn't have no earthly father. But he didn't have no earthly mother. No, he didn't. But he exists. That's right. Who made him? God. God. What would make Jesus different from all other ministers that would walk earth? Mm -hmm. Because Jesus was able to save. That's right. 
As one Muslim brother taught one time, Jesus saves. That's right. And that's true. That's true. And it's still true today. That's right. Salvation or to be saved means to be delivered. Delivered. It is a message of hope and truth that deliver us from sin, ignorance. Mm -hmm. See, you folk that's living together not married, you need truth. That's right. You in bondage. That's right. You women that walk the streets with your breasts hanging out. Mm -hmm. Pants so tight you look like a human snake. Amen. Then you out there passing out tracks. That's right. Now, folk, have you been born today? That's right. Ain't no one thinking about Christ looking at your tight backside? No, no. Go ahead. Am I Go ahead. Right? Amen. Amen. <laughs> Go ahead. So the purpose of the manifestation of God in the man Christ Jesus, that Jesus may publish God's name. That's right. And listen, that the behavior of God. That's right. That's right. That God's behavior, mm -hmm. his attitude, Amen. may be demonstrated in the earth. Mm -hmm. That all that come after the Son of Man may hold, may know how to act how towards to act. God. That's right. That's what is meant that he left us an, an example, example that we should, should follow, follow his, steps. his steps. So if you're following the steps of a teacher, Amen. and Jesus was a master teacher. That's right. Then he leaves an example how to walk. How to walk. How to talk. That's right. How to submit. That's right. How to obey. Yes. Mm -hmm. How to pray. Yes. Mm -hmm. How to be disciplined. That's right. How to resist temptation. Amen. Until the Bible says he was tempted in all points, yet without sin, let us us or no. If he can do it, you can do it too with God's help. Amen. Leaving us an example. Listen. In 1 Peter chapter 2 and at verse 21. Leaving. Leaving us an example. Us a pattern. That ye should follow his steps. The so-called Christians today are not following the step of Jesus. No. no. No, you're too busy rapping. That's right. That's right. You're too busy got your contemporary rap trash. That's right. You too busy living together, not married, and remarriage and divorcing like I don't know what. Amen. You too busy running around in the bar and going to some little Christian party. That's right. A Christian party. Christian one. What's that fella name? Snoopy Dog or, or Dopey Dog? What's Snoop Dog. Snoop Dog. <laughs> if you play Snoop Dog music in a club, Amen. Everybody's come on. Here we go. Here we go. Let me hear you say something. That's right. Am I right? Amen. Now you church people. Church people. Go ahead. Or should I say you religious people? That's right. You're no different. That's right. You come with this so-called Christian hip-hop bebop trash. Amen. Go in the same city. Same thing. In the cult, someone rap and change the lyrics a little bit and mention the name Jesus. Yeah. But yet your rhythm is the same. That's right. Oh, here we go.